All right, so, so let us start our Institute of Importance other than IT series. Again, we have four series till now and we are going to present the fifth series now, which is Institute of Chemical Technology, that is ICT, which is present in Mumbai. Now, let's talk about what's special about this particular college. All right, before we move, if you haven't subscribed to our channel or even liked our Facebook page, please do so for our recent updates because we will be bringing more and more such updates for you. Please just go on and subscribe to our channel. All right, so let's start with the discussion of this particular college. It's ICT, very, very famous college of, uh, of Mumbai. It started in 1933. It was a very famous college. It was called UDCT. It became University of Mumbai. So in, this is the, basically the track record of this particular college. And it uh, became a deemed university in 2008 itself. And if we talk about uh, some stats of this particular college, why this is a good college, why we are making series on this uh, the NIR ranking of 2018 that is the, the given by MHRD that is uh, Ministry of Human Resource and Development the rank nikalti hai it is at 10th number at engineering it's a government uh, aided college deemed university hai fair views ke baavjood state run college hone ke baavjood bhi it is getting a 10th position which is a very good ranking though NIRF ranking is not one of the best parameters to judge a particular college but still it means a lot if somebody is coming in the top 10. It also offers pharma pharmacy, which is in fact in the top 5, which is very, very good. Alright, so other than uski baat se hatake baat kare. So more importantly, if you would you much uh, you would you guys would be interested in another very very important information that it aluminize are the strong base of this institute. So 19 Padma uh, awardees of uh, has been produced by ICT, 3 Padma Bhushan, 3 Padma Bhushan and 8 Padam Shri which is something really big and 500 industrialists I am going to talk about why this college is famous you just get to know right and it is basically known as a research college where a lot of research based on chemical things is being done here okay and research definitely as I've mentioned research is the most integral part and uh, there are a lot of grants and projects which come to this particular institute in the space of uh, chemical technology yes so why this college is prominent why this is famous because of its industrialist alumni uh, one of the most famous is Mukesh Ambani he himself did his engineering and chemical engineering from this particular place now you have uh, a chairman, vice chairman, Asian Paints as an alumni of this, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories founder as alumni of this, then you have ACC Cement and Ambuja Cement Group chairman alumni of this, and Pedalite that is basically famous for your Fevicol, right? So these all are basically alumni of this. So if you are sitting in this institute, studying from this institute, so there is a high probability that you might one day meet these guys at some or the other convocation ceremony. All right, so it's really a huge achievement uh, being sitting in alumni list like this. Now coming to the most specific things which uh, would help you. So for UG, that is undergraduate admissions, uh, it offers three particular courses, Bachelor of Chemical Engineering, which is the most sought after program of this particular college. Then you have Bachelor of Technology in these different, different fields as well, which are very limited and very specific. So in case it is a very good thing, which you can get to know that what happens in the field of chemicals plus textile. So it is basically more tilted towards the textiles that is this B tech, right? So it is tilted towards the textiles, which actually, if you notice to the alumni that we just talked about, most of them were working primarily in the oil, textile or chemical sector. So oil basically is a major proportion of chemical technology right so that is why you have oils oleochemicals and surfactants technology as a BTEC course in here so very very specific college very very specific courses so people who are interested in textiles uh, chemicals um, and how their use is being generated in a day-to-day -day life for example you just you can just see the Dr. Reddy's laboratories founder being here how you know, medicines are made, what composition are they structured of? So this is a very good college to go and get into. All right. And the third course they also offer is bachelor's of pharmacy. I'm not sure that uh, how many of you would be interested in, but again, it's a offered course under UG category. All of these courses are basically four year long courses, right? So they are all four year long courses. And when we say the textiles and all those things, so a lot of people would have a family background from 
or their father and uh, fathers and their uh, parents basically would be doing family business in terms of textiles oil uh, chemicals perfect college for you to get into and take your business in the next generation uh, if we talk about the admission something specific uh, for bchem b bachelors in uh, uh, chemical engineering and btech courses which has different branches here uh, majority of the seats are logged for Maharashtra because it's a state owned college why it has happened because it's a state funded college let me remind you right it is not funded by a central body but rather it is funded by a state government that is why you have 70 percent of the seats allocated to the uh, people who have domiciles of Maharashtra and 30 percent is open to uh, all India right uh, BTEC uh, if we talk about admissions and their criteria so so this generally uh, happens here as uh, both the ways Maharashtra CET and JE main scores are valid and then it is followed by a counseling whereas in B Pharma only Maharashtra people are allowed to take the B Pharma course that is the main stuff to remember so B Pharma is eligible only for uh, Maharashtra uh, residents uh, people who are residing in Maharashtra and has a domicile of Maharashtra let's keep this that way right okay now coming to the eligibility or let's say we talk about the fee or uh, eligibility also uh, you just have to have 50 percent marks in physics chemistry or maths and it should be from a recognized board that means it could be any of your state board that you are going to take okay now if we talk about the fees for the uh, you know ug programs that we have here uh, bachelor of chemical technology pharma all almost have the same courses this might be revised as year on year but uh, this is what the picture uh, generally look like so if you average it around it basically becomes 80k per year okay we already talked about mode of admission so for mode of admission there are two modes uh, j mains and uh, mhct j mains is for outside category people right outside and mhct is for only for maharashtra uh, students right uh, so this is what is the trajectory that looks like and here you please remember that 30 percent of the seats are allocated here and majority of the seat that is 70 percent are allocated to the uh, localites okay now coming to how the most important thing uh, which stands between you and this college is j mains and uh, rather mhct marks cut off for different different uh, uh, courses so bachelors in chemical engineering the most sort of course has 75 seats in total of which 52 are reserved for state and 23 are open for all india which is very very low that is why you will find a lot of good quality students coming to this college which makes its value very unique now another very very important thing to notice i have given two ranges so what i have done i am going to give you range of marks for this particular college range right i am talking about range of marks right it is not that it is uh, uh, a category but i what i have done is for round four or let's say what we guys have calculated is till round three of 2018 J main score right that is this particular year uh, so seats 23 highest person sitting in this particular college is having a score of 227 and the lowest being 179 this is what this stat means whereas people who are coming from the Maharashtra uh, and are coming from MHCT the highest has been 183 which is very very high considering it's a 200 marks paper uh, MHCT 183 is pretty pretty high and the lowest which got the seat is 148 so 148 we have restricted ourselves to the OBC category uh, the, this marks do not cater to the SCST category you can go to the website and check your respective uh, category scores which were selected here now if we talk about the other courses right so these all courses are uh, b, te uh, b technology courses bachelors in technology where this is especially called bachelors in chemical technology bct let's say for example uh, and can you see this particular figure what is happening there is no seats at all right so in this particular course 20 16 18 34 so the fibers and textile is basically the next big uh, you can say a course which is offered by this college 34 out of which 10 are open for all india and again just see the all india scores for j mains just see them 145 142 156 151 175 173 and this is the lowest 
right so you can expect a huge competition here and uh, this is something which makes this college even more unique is basically the this thing the, you have no selection at a very 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 selective badge so when you say have a very very selective badge automatically the value of the college definitely increases right so just see this uh, for example if we pick a polymer which is just having 16 odd uh, you know members in the batch out of which five are decided all over India 175 is the highest score 157 is the lowest score so you can see what competition we guys are talking about and obviously when you have people in the pool who have these kind of scores uh, it's bound to get quality right the students generally make the name of the college it happens that way so if you have if you make a college where all 200 or 150 plus mark students are there automatically the value of the college will increase this is what is evident from this particular sheet right and there are a lot of beautiful uh, courses for example surface coating uh, just to give you an example of surface coating so for all our medicines they are basically coated right i don't know whether this course teaches you that but I just I just thought of it that where technology is uh, completely implied, right? Food engineering and processing, a very very prominent course nowadays. Have five seats for all India and eleven seats for uh, uh, Maharashtra people. Uh, just stack it up, see to it or for yourself what could be done. Okay, uh, coming about the major parts which a lot of people generally talk about is the placements of that particular college. Uh, honestly speaking this college is not very famous for its placement basically it is known for its research capabilities and students here do not in fact prefer to go for placement they prefer to go for higher studies abroad or maybe some uh, Indian college beauty of this is still having said that you these have a very good amount of placement almost 100 percent for their BCT course, right? Bachelor's in Chemical Technology, you almost have 100% score where BC, BPCL, that's a government aided uh, company, gave around a package of almost 14 lakhs last two year. And other big companies, so Exxon Mobil is a big oil company from US. They come to this campus, obviously Reliance comes, Glenmark, and there are a lot of other companies which will do come and will offer you placements. But I, what interests me more is this particular fact that students are matured enough here. They do not stick to just your placements, but they are eyeing for even a bigger shot where they go abroad and study and then they become the masters of what they are in, in their specific field. And they then maybe the placement goes up very high. So if you are inclined towards chemical engineering, all these courses that we have talked about, dye, uh, dyes, fibers, food processing, oil, pharmaceuticals, uh, polymers, surface coating, then this college is for you definitely, right? And interesting fact, you are not just going to sit for placements, you will find people who are looking to study further and improve their knowledge base, which is fantastic. All right, so keep glued to this, all this. Uh, we would love that you should subscribe more and more to our channel so that we could bring more and more such information to you at the time when it is very very necessary all right so just keep helping us keep motivating us subscribe to us so this is what we say just keep working hard there are a lot of options open for you which we will keep bringing to you as we go on this is in just in line with marathon go vision of democratizing education where quality education should be right of each and every student and for this first of all the information has to be passed that is what is the purpose of this series. God bless you all. We will come up with the another series with another college. Till then, goodbye.